this year. Don't miss the most terrifying tutorials on YouTube. Polished and Powdered presents Marilyn Monroe. I wanna be loved by you, just you. I had onions at lunch. I had garlic dressing at dinner. But he'll never know, because I stay kissing sweet the new Dazzle Dent way. <laughs> oh gosh. This is my obligatory Marilyn Monroe tutorial. It, seem, it seems obligatory because like every person who does makeup on the YouTube does Marilyn. So I figured I'd do it too because I love Marilyn. I think that um, I think probably my favorite um, Marilyn Monroe movie is The Seven Year Itch because she is just so on, you know, um, her comic timing is just so on. So yes, this is my Marilyn Monroe tutorial. I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that you stick around to watch the entire thing. Bye guys! Okay, so um, I have one eye done and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this um, e.l.f. eyelid primer and this one is in champagne, how appropriate. <laughs> it has a little bit of shimmer in it. I just make everything stay in place. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a concealer. This is my Dream Lumi Touch. I'm going to go over my brow to lighten it up. We're not really trying to conceal the brow, we're just trying to lighten it up a little bit and then I'm going to work on that a little bit later. Okay, now I'm going to take this Mad Minerals um, paint pot. It's an indelible cream eyeshadow in Nude Frost. It's a champagne color once again. I'm going to take a flat brush. Okay, so where your natural arch is, you're going to go right there. And kind of just blend it. It's going to go in that area right there. And then we're going to take the same product and put it on the eyelid. And then I'm going to take my Naked palette. I'm going to go into Sin, which is this shimmery pinky color right here, and pack that on top of my eyelid. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to take Buck, which is a matte brown color from the Naked palette. Make sure there's not too, too much product on here. And we're going to go right out here in this area. See where there's like a little shadow right here? We're just going to emphasize that just the tiniest bit more. I mean, barely, barely, barely. I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to use this Coastal Sense brush right here. Go into Buck once again and we're going to define the crease with this color. Now the deepest part of her eye shape was right here on the outer corner of the crease. And go around. Just really quickly, I'm going to take another um, Mad Minerals paint pot in Bare Necessity, which is a matte sort of pinky color and line my waterline with that, just the lower one. I'm going to take my e.l.f. angled liner brush 
looks like that. And I'm going to take another Mad Minerals paint pot in Tip Taupe, which is sort of like this really light kind of tan color, which I thought would work really well as a brow color for her. Okay, I'm going to start at my natural beginning of my brow. I'm going to go flat on top. When you get to your natural arch, there's a point right there. Go on the bottom. And stop at the arch. And then from that point, go down, it's straight down. And extend it just a little bit past your natural brow. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the eyeliner first. For the lower lash line, I'm going to be using Demolition from Urban Decay. It's just a matte brown. It's a cool matte shade, not a warm one. Right up very thin at the lash line. Okay, now for the eyeliner, I'm going to be using this very thin liner brush that I picked up at Coastal Scents and my e.l.f. black cream eyeliner. I'm only going to go to the middle of the eye with this liner. And if you made your wing a little bit too chunky, I got these Q-tips from um, Walgreens and some makeup remover. Squeeze off that tip really well so there's not too much product going on. Use the other side to blot. I'm just going to put on mascara. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay um, Super Curl Curling Mascara. Um, just any kind of lengthening curling mascara that you have will be fine. Alrighty, um, next thing, I'm going to highlight even more with um, my e.l.f. Studio blush in Gotta Glow. Okay, for the rest of the face, I'm going to use this Sheer Cover um, concealer and use the lighter side under my eyes really quickly. This is obviously not my favorite thing in the whole wide world, this particular concealer, but it's light enough. I think it'll work out okay. Okay, first things first. I'm going to set my foundation. Um, when it comes to sort of a Marilyn Monroe look, you want to be as glowy as possible. So I definitely recommend a more um, illuminating finishing powder like this one from um, uh, Physician's Formula. 
Um, it's the Youth Boosting Translucent Illuminating Finish. And go all over the face with that. Yes, you're going to feel cakey. With all of this stuff on your face, it's kind of inevitable when you're doing a Marilyn look. This is full-on costume makeup. I mean, even she knew that. <laughs> Get a lot of it on there. This is the single eyeshadow from e.l.f. Single Studio eyeshadow from e.l.f. in Pebble. It's something that I use to contour my nose all the time. I'm going to take this sort of doe foot brush from Eco Tools. I'm going to go down either side of the nose, starting right here in the corner of the eye. right here right at the tip and then this V area right here that's what Marilyn did or her makeup artist did really really contouring that and then you can kind of go down around the nostrils And then those lines down the side, I kind of just blend them down so that it kind of blends into the face. I'm going to do some light contouring. I'm going to be using my bronze booster from Physicians Formula. Um, just right here, under the cheekbones to kind of emphasize those. Now for blush, I'm going to be using a NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Hot Pink. And I'm going to tap it in there once, tap it on the back of my hand, maybe twice. Yeah, tap it on the back of the hand. And you really are going to smile. <laughs> Get that Marilyn flush. Maybe tap it on the back of the hand just a little bit more to get some of that pigment off. Okay, for the lips, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Lip and Cheek Color. Please do not use this on your cheeks. It will ruin the foundation that's under it, and you will still have little lines on your skin when you try to blend it out. This came in the e.l.f. Um, Maleficent palette. Um, but I am going to line my lips with it. So basically, I'm going to try to get the shape of her lips. <laughs> Use your own judgment on this, folks. Shading in the sides for a little more depth. It's actually a really pretty color. I might just wear that sometime. With lipstick. Pretty berry. Okay, next up. So many products for the mouth. Um, this is a CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lipstick in Hot. The number is 305 on this baby. I'm not going to go all the way out to the um, lip liner. I'm just going to keep it kind of contained. I want to blot just a little bit. It will keep the pigment there. Um, it will just take the excess oils out of the uh, lip products. I never use this because it's so frosty. 
but this is a Revlon Color Burst Lipstick in Baby Pink. And I'm going to apply this right to the center of the lips just to give it that extra dimension. See if it'll work. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to, one more thing, I'm going to add this um, Buxom uh, lip gloss from Bare Essentials on top of it. I'm going to put it on my finger first. And then just pat it on the top. Okay, I have my wig cap on. As you can see, I went over my ears because this wig won't stay on and you'll see way too much of my black hair if I don't put it over my ears. So, um, this is the wig that I got that came in, ooh, <laughs> that came in the mail. This is the picture that came with the wig that I got in the mail. Um, it's officially licensed and that's what it's supposed to look like. So I'm going to pop it on and show you what it really looks like. Woo! So it's a little more Jane Mansfield just rolled out of bed than um, Marilyn for sure. I ordered this off of Amazon and like, listen, I read the reviews. I knew it wasn't going to be great or anything like that. So, I mean, I just take what I can work with or make work or whatever. Um, but there's one more thing that I almost forgot. We're going to take demolition again. This side. Yes. There you go. Little mole. Beauty mark. So there is my Marilyn tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Hopefully you can find a better wig. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> yes, this is the wig. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, this is the same. It's totally... That's what she's wearing. I mean, I look identical to her. And that's even the same hairstyle that Marilyn has up here, right there. Look at that. Not the saddest thing. <sighs>